We're going to be focusing on the real estate market this morning, where homeowners are defaulting on their mortgages at a record pace. So what are your options if you can no longer afford your house payment? Well, MSNBC financial analyst and columnist for AOL's WalletPop.com, Vera Gibbons, says that a short sale often better option than foreclosure or bankruptcy. Vera, good morning. Good morning, Al. So what is a short sale? This is where you're selling your home for less than you owe on the mortgage. It's really an exit strategy for people who do want to avoid foreclosure, who do want to avoid bankruptcy, because that is much more damaging on your credit score. So I understand it's pretty complicated. First off, you've got to get the approval from the bank, right? Yeah, the, the bank has to agree to do this transaction. If they don't agree to do it, can't be done. Uh, yeah, this is an idea for someone who is underwater, they can't pay their bills, they maybe lost their job, get hit with large medical bills, for example. You want to sit down and talk to your lender about other options first, like a loan modification or refi. If you don't qualify, then this might be something the lender would actually consider. A lot of paperwork involved in this. Does that mean you, you really need some help with this, like a, with a real estate agent? There is so much paperwork involved. You have to get all your uh, returns together from a couple years, your pay stubs if you actually have a job, if you don't you need confirmation that you're not un unemployed. You need a couple months worth of bank statements and about 15 other financial documents. So. It is complicated, there is an awful lot of paperwork, and the lender is gonna take a look at the package and either approve the short sale, deny it, or counter. So it is complicated, it involves a lot of people, and I think your best interest would be to go out and find someone who's done a lot of these, someone in the area, a real estate broker who perhaps has worked with the lender before, knows the area, because they're ultimately gonna help you negotiate, they're gonna help you market your home, they're gonna help you stage your home, and they're ultimately gonna help you sell your home. On the other side of this, are there pros and cons, things you need to watch out for if you're thinking about buying a home that's a short sale? Well, this is actually uh, a safer way to go than perhaps buying at auction because you can see the home, you can inspect it, you can actually take a look at the home, so it's a lot less risky here. But the bank is going to want to make sure you're financially sound, that you have the money, that you're ready to go, you've got the cash or you've been pre-approved, for example. And they don't want to, I mean, they want to sell the house as is. So right. don't ask for any special concessions or special perks because that's not just not how these things work. And they are going to want their price. If you come in, you know, 30 or 40 percent below market value, they're just going to throw the deal out. But 20 mm percent -hmm. below market value, 10 percent, they might go for it. And summertime is still the, the best time to buy a house? We're entering the peak buying season. All that's right. right, Al. Vera Gibbons, thanks so much. Thanks.